I'm recording this video actually after the fact that I've done this uh, process to the RV, as you can probably tell. Um, the reason is the original video I recorded, um, it's so garbled and messed up. I don't know what happened, but I had a friend record it and then send it to me and something happened. I don't know. It's hard to explain, but it's not good quality. So there's a couple things I want to tell you before I roll the actual video of us painting or, or applying the uh, process to this uh, RV, the uh, Raptor liner, um, so just a couple pointers. One, I ordered uh, four bottles of Raptor from Amazon and it wasn't enough just to do the bottom of this side and the other side. And I didn't go all the way across either. I just went up to the uh, cab, as you can see. I stopped right there and I didn't even lay it on as thick as I should have because I was running low on this stuff I thought I had enough but it wasn't so my suggestion is to get enough get more than you think you'll need put it like that so four four cans covered about 75% of this and not even as thick so I'd say about half four cans was about half of this maybe a little more than half um, so, like I said, I would like to have this on thicker, but um, it's okay. I, I use a little bit of other stuff I had to kind of fill in some of the light spots and, and everything. But the idea here is to prep it really good. So we sanded it down um, and then used adhesion promoter. A U pole, I think it is, on Amazon. It's an etching... Uh, a primer basically and it, 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 it bites into the metal and stuff and it allows a really good place for the uh, the um, product to adhere to so ironically we ran out of the uh, Raptor my friend had some old bed liner stuff from like years ago it's like roll-on bed liner so we mixed the hard during to that shook it up and uh, we finished it and it actually looks the same you can't really tell how it'll hold up is anybody's guess but uh, there was no way to get any Raptor anytime soon and we already had it masked off and you know I did what I had to do basically at the time so um, make sure you get more than enough uh, uh, product another thing is the gun that I got and I think I, su I suspect this is a case with a lot of these um, Raptor uh, kits off Amazon is crap the moment we started using it, it, the trigger didn't work anymore. So we actually had to cut it on and off by using the regulator valve, which actually worked. So um, keep that in mind that the gun's not really good. And we clean it out each time by just pouring some acetone in a cup, putting the feed tube into the cup of acetone and, and then you know letting the, the gun um, spray out. And the acetone got sucked up and cleaned out the internals of the gun just so we could continue to use it till we were done with it that's another little tip that I would recommend um, this is about about uh, three weeks now three weeks old or so and it seems to be holding up pretty good like I said I wish I could have put it on a little thicker but um, I like it so far you know I think it's it's definitely something that is worth doing and uh, it's covering up some damage to the doors that I had fixed, my bay doors. On the other side, uh, had a couple of dents and scrapes. So I really wanted to cover up the primer and the, the body work that was done to those doors. That was my motivating factor of doing this uh, so quickly like I did, instead of waiting until I did the full paint job, which is coming later. But anyway, um, Mix the uh, Raptor up according to the instructions. You basically just, uh, they give you some hardener, a little more than what you actually would need for the bottles they send. And you just fill it up to the little line in there. It's a little groove in the bottle. And then you shake it up real good for a couple minutes. Get an air compressor. Um, I don't think you need a terribly strong one. Just, uh, just at least a pancake style one. And uh, 
bigger is a little better for volume more so than pressure and um, don't be scared of it we and uh, I got the um, I got the uh, Home Depot style uh, I went to Home Depot and got the uh, masking tape built into the uh, plastic sheeting and I just ran it underneath the channel right here to uh, protect the, uh, the regular um, uh, body until I'm ready to paint it so it doesn't look messed up and you didn't get a lot of overspray or whatever. And then uh, use a real aggressive tape. They make stronger tapes that are not made to stay on very long, but they have a really high adhesion for any, any place where you want a sharp line um, while you spray it. And then, then once your uh, spray sets, then uh, take that tape off so it doesn't bite into your, your paint too hard because it's not made to stay on there very long. But I would use the strong tape for anywhere where you want a nice crispy line and then just use the regular tape for anywhere that doesn't really matter. Those are my tips. I think I've pretty much covered what I want to cover with the uh, behind the scenes stuff. Uh, but I think Raptor's a good thing to put on RV. It seems to be holding up okay so far. And I definitely like the look of it. So, uh, Good luck with that. Enjoy the video. Take care.